costumes, compositions or character. This Japanese musician is on a mission and he's giving it all he's got. For Atsushi Yukito, it's the sound of Jamaican ska all the way. Well, Jamaican music, to me, it's, it's my soul. Atsushi and the Moisties, I can describe as ska band. I would say traditional ska band, more close to the 60s Jamaican style ska. By day, Tokyo Bon Atsushi is a preschool teacher, but by evening, he makes that pretty hard to guess. And I put a little bit of my personal sort of personality into the music. My personality would be uh, sexy and a bit cheeky. <laughs> it was a really hot day, and then uh, my bum get kind of sweaty. And then when I get to the band practice, I said to everyone, you know, my ass is moisty. <laughs> um, everyone loves it so much. And then uh, so I decided to have moisty, either moisties for my next band. And here it is. And so she ended the moisties. <laughs> A long way from Jamaica, this practice room in Auckland may not be polished, and neither is their sound, but that's exactly the way Atsushi likes it. I want to keep my band have sort of little bit loose, but still have a huge groove of the music. My role in the band, the dominant lead guy in the band, I suppose. It's really hard work to manage the whole seven-piece band. So when you guys do dancing, not like this? I'm the one lighting the whole song and make the demo for bands, so everything good to go on the show. I'm counting the dollar for the band. Um, yeah, it's pretty much everything. With a distinct walking bass line and the upbeat rhythm, Jamaican ska from the 1960s is the true precursor to reggae. Today, the original style is largely on the back burner, giving way to offshoots but Atsushi refuses to adapt or adopt a newer sound. Such a fanatic, like he is incredibly passionate about this type of music and he's gonna do it whether people like it or not, you know. Whether people get onto it or not, it doesn't matter because this is his love. He doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to put rock and modern contemporary elements in there. He wants to keep it true to the 60s style, the Scartalites and the originators of, of the Scar style. We got a new Moisty's Pandies. <laughs> Whether it's their, well, slightly unique merchandise or the casual looseness of their sound, the band refuses to sway to convention. <laughs> there are so many bands with the singers, but how many bands can you think of band without singers? They feel with a light horn section, they got a light harmony, Great rhythm, so what do I need a vocal? For me, the stage performance, it's really important for our music. When you watch a show, um, you don't want to see the band just standing up and apply. So I got to do something. And so I just grab my tiger suit, and that's perfect for us. Showmanship and their strong emphasis on brass guarantees the boys a gig or two almost every month. A good fit for the for the festival and for the village stage. Um, we try to represent uh, you know music across age and gender and ethnicities, and they've got a really great mix in their band, you know. And um, they're really interesting visually, very interesting, and um, it's great music. Well, people not reacting about just because I'm an Asian, just because I'm Japanese, or just because I'm playing a ska. I think they just looking at me as, what the hell is going on? This guy actually wearing a tiger suit, or other person, you know, this guy actually wearing a cow suit. What's going on with this band? Whatever it is that's going on, you can be sure that with a name and sound like that, Atsushi and the Moisties aren't going to be forgotten too easily.
Well, that's it from us this week. But before we go, here's news of a fundraising event being held in Auckland this coming Wednesday on April 7th. Virak is the award-winning film co-written by Aucklander Shuchi Kotari, which tells the story of ordinary people whose lives were violently shaken by the Hindu-Muslim riots in Gujarat, India, 2002. All proceeds of the event are going to Akash Ganga, a home for destitute children in Gujarat. Next week, we miss an episode due to sport on TV One, but we're back in two weeks' time on April the 18th. See you then.